we want popping curls. Yes, we do. Hey, YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Welcome. Before we get started today, please go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It really helps your girl out. It'll help you out too, because then that way you'll be notified every single time a bomb video drops. Today, I wanted to talk all about my natural hair care regimen. I've been natural for over two years now, and I've found that my little routine, though it's simple, it is very effective and it has really helped me to keep my curls nice and healthy. A hair care regimen is like the most important thing ever. Honestly, so I wanted to share my little simple but effective regimen with you guys So if you just went natural or if you're transitioning or you're just considering going natural This video is gonna be perfect for you. Let's get started. All right So first off I am here to tell you right now that your natural hair care regimen does not need to be complicated In fact keeping it simple is the way to go so basically how I upkeep and maintain my curls is once a week, I pick one day, and that's usually on Sunday, I pick one day to do the most intense full wash day. So that is the day where it takes the most effort, where I give my hair the most time. So whether it be a wash and go, or a twist out, or a perm rod set, that is your one day where you know you're gonna put in a special amount of time and a special amount of effort into your hair so that that way it can last you throughout the week. So for me, my day is Sunday, that is my big wash day. So on your big wash day, you're gonna wanna make sure that you deep condition. So deep conditioning once a week is actually life-changing, honestly, and if you just get into a routine of doing it, it just becomes like second nature to you. And then should you need to refresh your curls a little bit deeper, you can also decide to do like a mini wash day during the week and for a mini wash day no deep conditioner necessary you might even just wet your hair and then add a little bit of conditioner and some more product onto it and that's it a mini wash day is meant to be just that mini and quick so that's it that's basically how your week is gonna look so you're beginning your week with your major deep intense wash day and your intense treatment and then in the middle of the week you're giving your hair a little pick-me-up if it needs it. Literally so simple, so easy. So in terms of the very basic products that you'll need in order to get you started, you're first gonna need something to cleanse your curls. I have always suggested a co-wash instead of shampoo. I personally don't like shampoos. The whole lathering thing is just very drying and I actually did an entire video explaining why I don't use shampoo, so I'll link that up here if you guys wanna check that out. But when you're co-washing, you wanna make sure that you will do a deep cleanse at least once a month. So this is another frequent thing that I do on my regular once a week big wash day I will do my regular co-wash cleanse and then once a month like your scalp will actually tell you I will go in with a deeper cleanse so I'll use something like an apple cider vinegar rinse or a special product that is specifically targeted for your scalp to cleanse it those products that do that deep cleansing for your scalp can be really drying especially if you use them more often than that so I would only suggest you do that deep cleanse once a month one of my favorite products that I actually just discovered for that is the TPH by Taraji Master Cleanse. It's so good. So this is it right here. The packaging is so bomb. Those prongs at the top really helps to get the product directly to your scalp. And then you just go in with your fingers and give your scalp a little massage and then wash it out and that's it. So those are the two types of cleansers you will need. Then you'll also need two types of conditioners. So a regular conditioner and then a deep conditioner that you will use on your big wash day once a week. And then for styling, you can keep those products very simple as well. So you need one for moisture and one for hold. So usually for moisture, you'll use like a leave-in conditioner or a curl cream. And then for hold, you'll use either like a gel or a mousse. I'm still going through and testing different products all the time to try and figure out what my staple products are. So if you guys are interested in seeing what types of products I'm using on the daily, how much I like them, which ones I don't like, then make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm always tagging the products that I use on there. So like I keep saying, you're going to want to keep it simple. You don't want to have a regimen that involves like 10 different products. Ain't nobody got time for that. And plus that can sometimes cause a lot of buildup on your curls and that is something that you definitely don't want. You just don't want to overwhelm your curls with too much product. So in terms of finding the right products for you, I know that it can be super overwhelming. There's so many natural hair care products out there, which is amazing, but it can be overwhelming. So I always like to suggest that you check out Instagram first. Everybody is on Instagram nowadays, and it's so important to make sure that the brand that you're using is actually posting girls that have similar curls like you. Like for example, I wouldn't work with a brand or use their products that only post people with like wavy curls. I have thick 
very curly hair so that's what I want to see them posting you can also find a blogger with similar curls so if you have similar curls to me you can make sure to follow me on all my platforms and then that way you'll see exactly what I'm using what works for me what doesn't work for me you kind of let the blogger go ahead and do all the hard work all the testing for you and then you can kind of be guided by their recommendations now, although I said go on Instagram, I just wanted to make a note that you don't want to get too caught up in comparing your curls to other people's curls. Literally nobody has the same two curls. They can be similar, but nobody's two curls are going to react the exact same way to products. So even if somebody has curls that look a little bit like yours, they might react very differently to certain types of products. So take it with a grain of salt. You can use it as a guide to start, but you're always at the end of the day gonna want to listen to your own curls. You really have to pay attention to how your hair responds to different things. Honestly, your natural hair journey is gonna be a bit of a trial and error process, but just have fun with it. Get a little bit creative, try different things, do different experiments, and make sure that you're always taking account of how your hair is responding to different things. Like you should always note how your hair responds to different techniques as well as different products. Styling techniques are almost just as important as the products themselves. So for example, if your hair is a little bit frizzy, take note of that and think, okay, my hair is frizzy, what does that mean? probably means you need a little bit more moisture. So then you turn to your deep conditioner. Or if you notice that there's a lot of breakage, like you're waking up and there's a bunch of broken hairs on your pillowcase and stuff, you take note of that and then think, okay, maybe my curls need protein. So moisture and protein are gonna be like your two main types of treatments that you wanna do. You don't wanna do either one too often. I think it's especially bad if you use protein all the time. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have like a good balance between the two. So that is basically it. I know it might seem like a lot of information to somebody who's new to being natural, but these are the very basic fundamentals of having natural hair and maintaining it. It really isn't difficult and you'll definitely get the hang of it it really really soon especially if y'all subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram i always put all my tips on there tips tricks different products different techniques i always always share the best with you guys and i'm also always available for questions if you comment on my stuff i usually try my best to answer everybody i'm really excited for you starting your natural hair journey it has been the best decision that i've ever made so i hope that i can encourage you to just go ahead take the leap go natural girl you are gonna slay it i promise and the natural hair community is lit okay it's lit because we all love to share information with each other. There's no holding back secrets like, oh, this works for me. I don't want anybody's curls to look as good. Nobody is like that in the natural hair journey. We're always ready to talk about new products, new techniques, and you will not be alone. I also wanted to reiterate one more time that it is okay to have a super simple regimen. Don't get caught up in the hype, in all of the different products, all of the different trends. Stay simple and make sure you're listening to your curls and that's basically it. If you guys have any additional questions, please, like I said, I'm here. So go ahead and comment them below and we can have a little natural hair discussion. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, you have one more chance to do it now. And you can also check out these two videos just conveniently placed right here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.